Hey, River family, Pastor Joe here. I am so very grateful to God to get to serve as your pastor. I pray that you are well and prospering in the Lord, uh, body, mind, and soul. I'm so grateful to get to share with you that last Sunday, the new seating experiment that we did was a real success and that we're going to be doing it again this coming week uh, at our on-campus gathering. We had some great feedback from you, so thank you. I'm also praying that we'll all continue to, to hear and to heed the call of governing officials about best practices for protecting one another. Now, I know that all of our senses are just kind of COVID exhausted, but we must continue to, to fight the good fight and not grow weary in doing good for what is actually best for others. Even when it costs me what I may feel like I want or maybe even feel like I need. I heard the other day that in an effort to coerce a hug from someone, somebody made this statement. Don't you know that hugs are healing? Well, my reply to that would be, and hopefully it would be in a spirit of gentleness. Sure, I know about those scientific studies that prove hugs help healing. I've used them in sermon illustrations. But I also know that those same scientists are telling us that right now, hugs could kill someone. So let's continue to practice loving one another well by maintaining good COVID preventive health practices when we gather. Simple things like sanitizing hands, wearing face coverings, and spatial distancing, they go a long ways to make a difference. Let me also say to you all, job well done in loving on the file family so very well during these trying times as they were heading out on a new adventure i know they felt your love and also let's continue to remember them uh, as we go to the lord in prayer now as pastor terry has been transitioning out the elders and i have been seeking uh, the lord as to how to move forward to provide leadership to those ministries that Pastor Terry gave oversight to. And because he had such a heart to develop others, he's left us with strong teams in place to continue carrying on the, the gospel ministry out of River Bluff Church. It's already made this transition in leadership so much easier than many churches uh, have when facing similar circumstances. The elders and I were immediately able to turn to one of our other staff members, uh, Kyler Campbell. We've asked him to step in and give uh, leadership uh, to our worship team and our tech teams uh, in these interim moments. This allows uh, us, the elders and I, to finalize some details that we've been working on for a while so that we can bring them to you, the church, in just a few short weeks. Now, I'm, I'm really eager uh, to share those details with you. I'm having a hard time not jumping in them now. I'm also excited that this Sunday, my friend and my mentor of over 39 years, Pastor Kurt Bradford will be leading us in a special Father's Day message that you don't want to miss. We'll celebrate and we'll give thanks to our Heavenly Father for our earthly dads. It'll be a great day, so plan to join us on campus or online at 11 a.m. this Sunday. And as always, I give thanks to God Every time I think of you, my River family, God bless you, and I really do hope to put eyes on you all soon.